Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. So, if you haven't been keeping up with the Grandstream UCM series, uh, before we do any more configuration videos or anything like that, the newest, late, uh, the newest version of firmware is out of beta and is in general release. So let's take a look at that. We're going to take a look at some of the changes and then we're going to go ahead and upgrade my daily driver. So here it is. Uh, we go over to grandstream.com slash support slash firmware, or you can get there from firmware.grandstream.com. We scroll down to the IP PBX appliance, and we have the UCM 6200 series. So here is the firmware version. It's 1.0.17.16, and we are going to take a look at the release notes. So we have all kinds of bug fixes, but we have all kinds of new features too. Now, you do have to uh, be on a 1.0.16 release to upgrade to the 1.0.17. So, if you're not uh, on at least 1.0.16, follow that upgrade path, and then you're going to be able to upgrade to this latest release. Uh, as always, back up your data including configuration before the firmware back it up um, you are upgrading the operating system of the UCM back up back up back up back up that's your safety net alright so uh, we're gonna download this here in a minute in fact um, this is the 62 so we'll go ahead and we'll just click on this and we're going to get that download going while we take a look at this document. So there are enhancements and new features. Um, and then also the bug fixes. So if we go here, you're going to see all of these uh, major enhancements. And there's pages and pages of uh, enhancements and bug fixes. You really should um, read through this. I'll leave a link to the firmware page down there in the uh, description so you can see all of these changes and enhance I mean there's just so many new things um, and zero config keeps getting better and better there's there's all kinds of stuff so uh, bug fixes that people reported we've got pages of bug fixes Look at all the bug fixes. Now we get down here to the new features. So uh, they are highlighting some of these new features um, and they are calling them major new features or changes. And so we have fax resending. And so it says the new option allows the UCM to keep attempting to send faxes up to a specified amount of time or however many times you want to specify. So they have that here. And we're eventually going to get to play with all these. Hopefully the 1.0.18 is not out before we get to cover all of this. Um, here is a big one, is that you can actually mount a network uh, disk, a NAS, and you can send your recordings to the NAS. And it's right under PBX settings. And... Um, you go in there and you can mount that NAS drive and send everything there. Um, you can now schedule paging and intercom calls. That's a fantastic feature. Um, there are new parking options. So destination when timeout call busy. So once you, your uh, parking times out, then what is the destination? So that's going to be a great feature. And then we have a time uh, timeout callback ringing all. What else do we have in here? We have endpoint call forwarding on ring groups. So what this does is it allows the UCM to work with uh, endpoint configured call forwarding settings to redirect calls to ring groups. For example, if a member wants to receive calls to the ring group on his mobile phone, he would have to set his endpoint's call forwarding settings to his mobile number. There are some limitations, so you need to be aware of those. So don't set your expectations too high. Make sure you understand the limitations. Then there is monitored call park. And what this is, is it says you can now see the caller ID name information of parked calls. So right here we see this parked call has Bob Smith on it. So that's, uh, that's pretty nifty. 
There's new uh, blacklist batch operations. Look like you can um, upload and export blacklists for routes. That's pretty impressive. Shared call appearance. So what this allows you to do is assign multiple devices to one extension, configure endpoints to monitor that extension, and make actions on behalf of that extension, such as viewing call status, placing and receiving calls, or even or even barging into existing calls. So this is a feature we are definitely going to set up and configure and probably will do an entire video just um, on this this feature. What else do we have? SIP settings, forward hold requests. Users can now create voice over IP trunk groups to register and easily apply the same settings on multiple accounts within the same SIP server. That's pretty neat. So now we can do, oh yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, you can forward voicemail to peered trunks. So forward voicemail over uh, a trunk between systems. Uh, you can now set the DOD name in place of the caller ID name on a trunk or extension. So 25 pages of goodness. Um, like I said, I will leave a, uh, a link to the to this uh, the firmware down there in the description. So our firmware is done um, downloading. So we're going to hop over and we're going to go ahead and we are going to extract. So our file's there, so that's good. All right, so we are going to log into the UCM 6202. Alright, so we're logged in and we are going to go to uh, maintenance and we are going to go to backup. And we are going to create a backup and I don't have anything on here besides the config that I, uh, I really need. So I'm going to go ahead and go backup. Uh, we do need to put an SD card in here so I can show you that. Put an SD card in, schedule those backups. We can also do that, that kind of off-site backup. So this is our backup, our 626-2018. I'm going to go ahead and download this. And uh, that backup is done. So now I'm going to go to Upgrade. And I am going to choose a file. I'm going to go to my Downloads folder. UCM and I'm going to choose this and now it is going to go ahead and it is going to upgrade the firmware and once the firmware is done the unit will have to reboot so we're going to let that happen real quick and we'll be right back. Alright our upgrade has completed so we're going to reboot the device and you can hear it uh, rebooting. Yeah. Also, uh, while we wait for that to reboot, uh, I do have a Rio Link uh, camera. Rio Link uh, reached out to me, offered me a camera, and I am uh, we're going to do a security camera showdown. Um, I am going to set this up uh, video coming soon, but uh, we have a few other IP video cameras to also talk about. All right, so we're waiting our two minutes. And we're going to try to log in again. And doesn't look like it's back up yet. Okay, so our system is rebooted and we go to system information. We can see we are now on the latest firmware version. So let's take a look at some of these uh, options here real quick. Uh, we're not going to get into them too deep here. Um, but we are going to uh, at least take a look at a couple of them. Let's see here. So let's see the NAS support, PBX network disk. So we'll go to PBX settings and NAS. Please make sure that the NAS is connected and writable if using it as storage for recording. Yeah, so we can just click enable here, put the host in, the share name, username, and password. That's fantastic. We are definitely going to get... Uh, get into that. I like that for sure. What else do we have here? Scheduled paging telecom, uh, the new parking options, the 
endpoint ring group but then we also have that shared called appearance I think I saw that it's here under this the SCA so you can set all that up so tons of new features uh, security enhancements all that good stuff make sure that you read the uh, make sure that you read the release notes um, and if you've got a, you know a way you can kind of test this a lot of people were running this in beta um, we're running the beta in production and everything was going well I'm gonna be using it as my daily driver and I'll be upgrading the other system that's what we'll be basing our videos on so that's kind of how we're gonna roll for now and that's it so go out and check the upgrade up if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment and share please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you need voice over IP networking security consulting IT consulting programming you can go to h5llc.com down there and reach out to us someone will get back with you we do have a discord uh, server Charlie's our admin he does a fantastic job the link is down there for that as well if you want to purchase any of the products you see here on the channel we do have that Amazon shop down below. And as always, I want to thank you again, and we'll see you in the next video.